Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So our beloved Jin, the oldest member of BTS, will be going to the military next week on December 13th, Korea time. I believe that's a Tuesday. And I think we have to just resign ourselves to the fact that, yes, we have to wave the white flag we lost in this situation. And, of course, it was his decision and his agency's decision to serve his country and to go forward with a mandatory military service. But I wanted to let you guys know that your voices were heard on an international global scale, or at least I tried to convey it through an interview that I did with ABC News. They have a bureau here in Seoul and I tried to convey a lot of the things that we were discussing on this channel about how unfair it was that BTS was strung along and seemingly used by the government for pet projects by politicians and that they got away scot-free. And you see how this, what I call schedule creep, just worked in the favor of the politicians where they're saying like, oh, well, we'll just look into that. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Or oh, maybe I won't agree with that, but we'll look into it and get back to you by the time they eventually are supposed to get back to you. They didn't even get back to anybody. So they essentially won. But this interview was done actually in October when this was still in play. And unfortunately, the whole Itaewon crowd crush happened in Halloween and that delayed the airing of this uh, package, this news package. And in the news business, it's for better or worse, I'll tell you a little bit how the sausage is made. Even though uh, we were answering questions related to the military service exemption question at the time, even if you have to delay because, you know, news is news and bigger news will, you know, cut out other news items, you can actually save a lot of these interviews and repackage it in a way. And that's kind of the magic of, of news making. If it's not just a uh, breaking news event and they were waiting for another appropriate time to air it. So they're timing it with a uh, Jin's enlistment and actual, you know, his physical going to his first day of mandatory military service. And so that's why the interview, if you're wondering like, well, how, how is this working in this uh, day and age, like right now in December, and whether it's still relevant, as you'll see in the news package, by the end of December, there is some decision that the National Assembly is supposed to make. So that's where the time relevance is still a bit there. And then also the immediate time relevance of Jin going into the military uh, next week. But just to let you know, though, that when I was interviewed, it was in October and most of these interviews were all in October. The package, I believe, was ready to be aired right around the Itaewon crowd crush incident and so that was the delay but i wanted to share this with you guys and also let you know that i tried to convey as much of all of the comments that you have made on this channel about this issue and what they didn't put in even though they put in you know quite a bit um, considering how short news packages are, and this was a long one, and usually you don't get more than one or two sentences. They might interview you for like half an hour, an hour, and then they'll put in a, a sentence or two. They put in a few sentences of mine, but what they didn't put in that I really wanted to get in there was that you guys were upset. People feel betrayed, and it does not look good for the Korean government. And that part didn't get in, but... I think a lot of other parts did get in and I think overall it was a great package and a great job by ABC News to uh, give an overview of what's going on with the situation in a way that the American audience can understand. So let's take a look and I'll catch up with you after the package. 
In the coming days, a member of the K-pop supergroup will report for military duty. Despite bringing billions of dollars to South Korea's economy and having adoring fans around the world, male K-pop performers still have to serve in the military. It's fueling a growing debate over whether they should be exempt. ABC's Juhi Cho has the details from Seoul. There are juggernauts in the world of K-pop. Boy bands like NCT and Hyphen, EXO, and of course, BTS. They've sold millions of records and performed in front of thousands of screaming fans. Their popularity driven by the ongoing global fascination with K-pop. But all of these bands must also face one of their biggest challenges, often happening at the height of their sweeping careers. Military conscription is mandatory for all South Korean men between the ages of 18 to 28. South Korea is living under the constant threat of a nuclear-equipped neighbor, North Korea, the two still technically at war since 1950. BTS's Jin is heading to the military after delaying conscription for two years past the maximum age limit, thanks to a change of law designed to buy time for music groups to carry on. The other members will soon follow suit, pushing them out of the public sphere at least until 2025. That leaves their future uncertain. It's a path other groups have traveled with no guarantee fans will be waiting on the other side. It's extremely tough because they can't really function at their peak performance that they did when they left. And it's also a question of whether the market is there for them still, which is namely their fans. And they move on to other groups. They move on to other groups, or they just age out of being a fan of K-pop. But not all fans move on. One K-pop comeback success story, Super Junior, a second-generation K-pop boy band that swept the global market in 2009 by storm with the hit track, Sorry Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. It took 10 years for all members to finish military duties because of their age differences. We did what we had to do, um, and we are really proud of um, completely military service. But yes, it was really tough because we couldn't be there for our fans as one wholesome team. Super Junior's Shi Won Che says it was a decade of uncertainty, but they used creative tactics to stay in touch with their biggest supporters. So we try to different ways to interact with our fans, like performing in units and solos. And I also went to into acting, which um, gave me dual jobs now. Shi Won is also a top lead actor, starring in shows like Revolutionary Love and dozens of other hit Korean and Chinese TV series and movies. It was difficult, um, but I've learned a lot. I've learned so much during military service. And I have so much respect for military and police force and serve my country. It was a reminder for us that hard work pays off. We can always count on each other. So we cannot wait to work on our new project or our next project. The extra exposure and connections with the fans may have helped. Super Junior is currently on a world tour. There are some exceptions to mandatory military service in South Korea. Distinguished fine arts performers do not have to serve, as well as athletes who earn medals. But K-pop idols don't fall in that category. Now Korean lawmakers are debating should artists like BTS and NCT also be exempted. The debate is widely divided. Lawmaker Han Gi-ho is calling for these exemption rules to be scrapped altogether, with no exceptions. 지금 현재 북한이 미사일 가지고 위협을 하고 핵 실험을 하고 또 포병을 가지고 위협을 하고 있는 상태에서 나라를 지켜야 될 인원들에 대해서 더 이상은 감축할 수 있는 인원이 없습니다. 
In addition to safety, arguments also center around the ideas of fairness and justice. It triggers many different nerves, so it is extremely, <laughs> extremely sensitive. So people feel like it's not fair for me to have this great loss and trauma in my life if you don't go through it. But those in favor of idle exemption include lawmaker Kim Young bae He proposed a bill last September that will allow top boy band members to avoid mandatory military service. Recent analysis shows that K-pop generates about $10 billion for the country each year. And one study found that by 2020, BTS was contributing $3.5 billion a year to the nation's economy. That much influence can go a long way in elevating national status, image, and pride. 대한민국의 청년들이 어, 전 세계적인 그런 문화 산업의 발전에도 상당히 기여할 수 있는 어, 새로운 길이 창출되지 않을까 어, 그런 기대도 있고요. 그래서 어, 저는 우리 대한민국에게도 기회가 되고 우리 청년들의 미래에도 새로운 도전의 기회가 될수 있다 이런 어, 측면을 좀 강조드리고 싶습니다. Korean people, they respect BTS and they, they, they cherish them. They regard them as a sort of like a national treasure and a national pride. But at the same time, to continue uh, to have that kind of status, people now understand that well, maybe it's, it's better for them to have a military service, to finish that properly. Both the Minister of Culture and Minister of Defense have stated that the issue of exemptions is under review and public opinion surveys will be taken into consideration. One of the ideas is to allow flexible dates of service so that all members in a group could finish their duties around the same time. The final policy decision is due by the end of the year, and until then, millions of K-pop fans are holding their breath, wondering just how long they'll have to wait to see their favorite groups on stage again. Go K-pop! So Jin will be going to the military next week. There's going to be no official event, and they announced through Big Hit saying and through Jin saying like you know please do not show up because you know this is this is a serious moment for other people and their families and they don't want to create any kind of dangerous you know crowd situation so please stay away from you know the the site where you know people are dropping off their kids to to go into the military for the first time so we have to you know celebrate him from afar in terms of the petition, a lot of you guys were asking. I was a little bit torn about this because I didn't. It, it there were a lot of people, and a lot of people. Thank you for signing, but it wasn't like a lot of numbers in the sense that where I feel like it would get, rattle the cages of the the government officials. But I do believe when you know people were emailing that you know did create a bit of a buzz and definitely started this route and pressure and i believe the hearings that we had for the military exemption issue on bts were more heated because there was a lot of comments and emails and letters that you guys so you know painstakingly took the time to write I am toying with the idea, though, of anyway, just printing out the petition with all of the names and delivering it or mailing it to the presidential office and to the uh, Ministry of Defense Military Manpower Association just so that they can have it on paper, just so that we can send it over. It may work better, I believe, if it's in paper form, and in paper form, Thousands of signatures do look significant in an online setting. I think you have to have like at least like tens of thousands, if not a hundred thousand or more before, you know, people start to get, you know, jogged. But a stack of paper, 
you know, for bureaucrats, I mean, which bureaucrat doesn't get turned on by stacks of paper? So I'm thinking about that idea. If you, uh, you know, think that, that, that that's a, a way to go, if you'd like to see that happen, put that in the comments below. And thank you all for contributing to this discussion. And hopefully this discussion can continue because this is not going to just affect Jin and the other BTS members who have to follow in his footsteps. I think overall, it may be good that the individual BTS members now really, in a way, have to be pushed to shine on their own, not that they don't already shine on their own, but really carve out their own independent career path during this time. And I think we'll see some marvelous projects and creations already you know the cool photo book by v and the uh, music releases by rm and suga and i mean like they're already so active so i think we will benefit but the thing that still concerns me though is their treatment and their time in the military and how that would affect their career track and spirit as an artist if they come out with some sort of trauma and so i think we need to be vigilant on that and i don't know maybe even create like you know there's like those crazy fans maybe we need to create a crazy fan directory and if there is anything that happens negatively to the BTS members, we activate the crazy fan directory and we send these crazy fans somewhere. I'm not saying where. I'll let y'all, you know, take the next step on that. But I think if crazy fans always need something to do and we might as well give them something productive to do and something that actually, you know, is, is, is useful of their uh, forceful energy. So anyhow, guys, I uh, want to thank you again for contributing to this discussion and really making your voices heard. Continue to make your voices heard, please. And uh, put your comments below, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye, guys.